Greetings and welcome to part 2 of the coronavirus induced series on trigonometry. Today we'll be delving deeper into the trigonometric ratios covered in part 1, but we're going to expand them to cover obtuse angles. The success criteria for today is for students to be able to find the value of trigonometric ratios for obtuse angles and to apply the obtuse angle formulas in solving trigonometric problems. However, before we begin, I'm going to spend a bit of time to explain the derivation of the three formulas in this topic. Have a look at this triangle with an orange reference angle of 30 degrees. Observe the adjacent side highlighted in red as I increase the size of the reference angle. Watch as this adjacent side gets smaller and smaller. When the angle is obtuse, the adjacent side has to be negative. No such right angle triangle exists in real life, but this is a useful abstraction to extend the trigo functions in mathematics. We will see the practical applications of this in later episodes. So let's take this obtuse right angled triangle and compare this with its acute congruent counterpart. Since these two triangles are congruent, the two orange reference angles are supplementary, meaning that they add up to 180 degrees. So for convenience, I'm going to label the acute one as theta and the obtuse angle as 180 degrees minus theta. Both of them have the same hypotenuse A, the same opposite side B, but in the acute triangle, the adjacent side is positive C, while the obtuse triangle has a base of negative C. What does this mean for the trigonometric ratios for obtuse angles? Let's first look at the sine ratio. Sine theta for the acute is opposite over hypotenuse, which is B over A. In the obtuse counterpart, it is also B over A. So we can say that sine 180 degrees minus theta is the same as sine theta. For the cosine ratio, which is adjacent over the hypotenuse, Cosine of the acute angle theta is C over A, but cosine of the obtuse angle 180 minus theta is negative C over A. Putting these two equations together, we conclude that cosine 180 minus theta is equal to negative cos theta. As for the tangent ratio, we can follow the same line of argument to conclude that tangent 180 minus theta is equal to negative tangent theta. In summary, only sine of the obtuse angle remains positive. Cosine and tangent of the obtuse angles are negative. This will be further extended in the additional mathematics arc when we look into reflex angles and negative angles for trigonometry. Let's now try a worked example for the applications of these formulas. Given triangle ABC, are you able to find sine ACD, cos ACD, and tangent ACD? Let's try this together. So first things first. Since we have a right angled triangle, we can apply Pythagoras' theorem to find the value of the hypotenuse, which would be 5cm. And just like in the first episode, it's always a good idea to label the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent side. Sine of the obtuse angle ACD is equal to sine of the acute angle ACB. And this will be opposite side 3 divided by a hypotenuse 5 or 3 over 5. In part 2, cosine of the obtuse angle ACD is equal to negative cosine of the acute angle ACB and this will give us negative 4 over 5. Lastly, tangent of the obtuse angle ACD is equal to negative tangent of its acute counterpart ACB and this will give us negative 3 over 4. And now it's time for you to check your own understanding. Pause the video here and try checkpoint 1. Let's now go through the answer. Just like in the work example, we can begin by applying Pythagoras' theorem to find the value of length BD. Sine of the obtuse angle ADC is equal to sine of the acute angle ADB, and this will give us opposite length 5 divided by the hypotenuse of 6, or 5 over 6. In part 2, 
cosine of the obtuse angle ADC is equals to negative cosine of the acute angle ADB. And this will give us negative square root 11 over 6. Lastly, in part 3, tangent of the obtuse angle ADC is equal to negative tangent of the acute counterpart ADB. And this will give us negative 5 over root 11. Now, armed with all the formulas for obtuse angles, can you try checkpoint 2? Given that sine x is equal to 0 0.4, Find the acute and obtuse values of x. Pause the video here and give this question a good try. Now let's run through the answer. Since we're given that sine x is equal to 0 0.4, we can try to picture a triangle to give us a better grasp of this question. We can draw a triangle with opposite length 4 and hypotenuse 10. To find the acute value of x, we can take the inverse function of sine of 0 0.4 and this will give us an acute angle of 23.6 degrees. To find the obtuse value of x, we can draw a triangle congruent to the one that we drew earlier. But this time, the reference angle will be this obtuse angle labeled in green. And this is just found by taking 180 degrees minus 23.6 degrees, and that will give us an answer of 156.4 degrees. So did you get the answer? Some additional practice can be found in the info section. I've attached a link to a worksheet for extra practice and a solution sheet for you to self-check all your answers when you are done with the worksheet. Finally, let's go back to where we first started. Have a look at the success criteria that we set out at the start of the lesson. Are you now able to find the values of trigonometric ratios for obtuse angles using the obtuse angle formulas? And are you able to apply the obtuse angle formulas? We have come to the end of part two. Stay tuned to part three, where we will look at how to find the area of triangles using trigonometry. Thank you and have a good day of learning.